I was uh, I Cosmo. They were like, uh, "You are so brave. You you are you sure you don't want to, us to make his you skinnier during the Photoshop?" I said, "No, I'm okay with this." They were like, "Lover time." <laughs> he just fed his uncle to some dogs, and you're gonna blow him right now. My mom is a hero. Like she brought me back from the dumpster, even though my penis was missing. Can you yeah. imagine? <laughs> yes. Like, why are you complaining? Yeah. <laughs> Welcome, welcome to your mom's house. This episode is brought to you by Sattva. Go to sattva.com slash the shit and get $200 off your next order. It is very satanic. Hey. Welcome to another episode of your mom's house. I'm Tom. She's Christine. We uh, have some really important things to discuss today but before we get to those uh gene where are you gonna be oh my gosh february 16th i'm in vancouver bc at the vogue theater oh yeah i'm so pumped to be doing canada and then i added an early show in meat rattle washington february 17th at the neptune at the neptune where i filmed I'm my i filmed my first special no yeah. did i film my special there? no you i Crazy. did you did yeah didn't film anything there. i did i there. wanted to Beautiful. Yep. And then the Palace of Fine Arts in Man Francisco, California. Very breezy. February 18th. And I added an early show in Jew Dork Titties at the Gramercy. And then the next night, nothing for me. Nothing. Hey, fatty! Better. And then Ridgefield Playhouse and Ridgefield Come Neticunt, March 24th. I love you, Christina What's up there, Chomo? ChristinaPonline.com for tickets. Thank you. I love All you. All right. There you go. Um, we, uh, we. This is the junior. It is. <laughs> It is. Um, I have. Dude, uh, I'm on tour. Your calendar, dude. I'm on tour right now. Um, I'm in uh, Chum Omaha, Chum. Chum Omaha, and then I'm going. Things really pick up in Feb February. Mm -hmm. uh, the arenas: uh, Reading, Pennsylvania. I got two at the Hard Rock in Atlantic City, and then Hanover. And then from there, um, it gets yeah. It gets, this shit is big time. Dude, um, crazy town. Portland, Maine, Manchester, New Hampshire, Mohegan Sun Arena, San Antonio, Dallas, Belton, Texas, Orlando, St. Augustine, Tampa, Hollywood, Salt Lake City, Boise, Seattle, Washington, Portland, Nashville, Charlotte, Portland. Raleigh, Atlanta, Pittsburgh, Rama, Canada, Pittsburgh. Cincinnati, San Jose, Lincoln, Des Moines, Kansas City, Camdenton, uh, Wilkesbury Township, Cumbenton. Jamestown, Verona, and Bangor, Maine. Hey, what that, that one speaks for itself. That one takes us. That takes us through June. It's a while ago, me. And then I'll announce at some point, um, probably this spring, I'll announce some dates for the uh, late summer and into the fall. So that's very exciting. It's very exciting. Very maze. It's very maze. Um, anyhow, there's uh, there's so much to get into. Why don't we just open the show yeah. and get. Get rolling. You ready? I'm ready. Let's go. <laughs> this fucking guy again. Ugh. Damn. All natural. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <coughs> Almost 36 years old, bro. Yeah. Mm. Is he wearing bangs? That was my dog. Has his hair all wrapped up. <clears throat> no, bangs? I've never done steroids. Nope. Okay. Never have done steroids. Never will take steroids. You know why? He <laughs> should do oh, steroids. Such a weird pose. <laughs> Your mama in the fucking stand. Welcome, uh, welcome to your mom's house with Tom Segura. Mom Segura and Christina Pajitsi. Welcome to your mom's house. Before he passed? This was done 10 years ago. We paid him a thousand bucks. He hooked it up. I have so many thoughts on this guy. First Shut of all, that shit up. his hair is like, what is, he looks like he has Betty Page bangs. Well, remember how long it was? So right. right now he just like folded it up. But why does he have a, he created a bang? Yeah, he it's just, it's hard. so much hair. He's got a full head of hair. Sure. He's got great genetics. I'm not taking that away from him. Who's saying anything is yeah. bad? It looks amazing. He's uh, he's that that back pose is very <laughs> strange. But you know, 
He's letting you know he's got. He definitely has the foundation. Well, and his panty choice is odd. Most Those are most tight American panties. I know men don't wear. But bodybuilders, to be fair, they do. Oh, they wear the spidos. That's what they wear. So he's showing you his body. You know what that is? Mm. That's so gay. That's so gay. <laughs> Too many fucking dudes in their twenties. Back in the early twenty oh. tens, late twenty yeah. tens. Yeah. Died of fucking heart attacks. Uh huh. Yeah. It's not something I'm willing to risk. Nope. Just saying the truth. He's got a Not cat. something I'm willing to risk as a natural bodybuilder. Mm -hmm. I'm almost 36 years old, bro. I do it natural. I've only had a chicken sandwich today, and that was it. That's so gay. <laughs> I will say this. He does have the foundation for a great physique. Sure. Like, he actually, he's almost 36. He looks great. I think he has a great physique. Um, it's, it's uh, you know... It, it would be time, I think, to turn on the roids, though, if he really wants to take it to the next Is level. Is that what he needs to do, you think? Yeah. You don't or think you got to be, like, so hardcore with, you know, with the lifting and the eating. I mean, he said he's only had a chicken sandwich. I think most bodybuilders would say you're just not eating enough. Enough protein. Yeah. He needs more protein. Yeah. And clearly, he gets with the ladies. Look, his house has the black light I mean, pad. it's perfect. It's what like, chicks like. Chicks love this. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, his eyebrows are incredible. Look at his eyebrows. Everything. It's so funny because definitely what men think women want and what women want, it's just chasms. What are you talking about? You don't know shit. <laughs> Hold on. Took my supplements. I didn't even work out today. Oh, bam. Oh, wow. Took my supplements and bam. that was it. Look at that. It's a cool right there. tattoo. Shook that shit out. <laughs> He's very... Oh. He's very pleased. That's the true fountain of youth right there. Genetics yeah. and just... Diet and exercise, that's it. Yeah. But genetics does play some part in it. I think he's right about this, well, too. I like his traps. Yeah. He's got good shut traps. Shut that shit up. <laughs> I know, I'm, I'm really fucking cocky, but it's because... Fuck, it took a long time to fucking build up my fucking muscles. Yeah. Right. You know what I just noticed? What? He shaves his chest. He well, shaves his body. That's what bodybuilders do. That's what bodybuilders do. They show you their muscles. That. They shave... Oh, my God. Yeah, I just, they shave everything. Oh my God, any... <laughs> It's just like he realized that the Huns are Hungarians. I just realized that bodybuilders shave their bodies. Yeah, and you blew I, my mind with that shit. Yeah. Oh, you, he didn't know that? No. The, we're like descendants of Asians, the Huns. I can't believe it. Like, it makes sense. Like They're Mongolian. They yeah. They're Mongoloids. I'm a Mongoloid. It blew my mind. I don't know shit about history, so I mean, it kind of makes sense, but yeah, mm -hmm. that's well, crazy. I think I don't think we can really just glass over the fact that, what, did you go ahead and get your transplant? What's going on with your hair? <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of feeling it out, you know? Um... Sad boy vibes. I yeah. Think it looks, oh, it's uh, so emo. I think it kind of fits me. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. it's a particular lane of black guy for sure. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we've yeah. all met that guy. And we're like, <laughs> yeah. wow, he is not like the others. There was one. <laughs> there was a goth boy who was black that kicked it with us. Yeah. And he was the coolest. And he, he we called him Oreo. Well, he called himself Oreo. Oof, then, I was gonna say. No, he was cool. He was the coolest. They, those guys get it. <laughs> you just kind of, we got there the long way. <laughs> we called him Oreo. He was the coolest. <laughs> well, he was. And can I tell you, all the girls wanted to be with him. He yeah. was gay, but we all he would was? have. Yeah. You wanted to have Oreos. Because he was, he was the rare anomaly in the group. Mm -hmm. He was the coolest. Yeah. You're like, there's nobody like you. But he didn't want to get with like. any of you. He didn't hook up with any women, of Because women, according to you, want something different. Yeah. So it's so. It took me forty-seven years to realize this because yeah. I was listening to some com like people talk. Comedians were yeah. some green room chat, and I was like, "Oh, guys, this is so stupid." But guys really do look at the meat vessel first, and they're like, "I like her tits. I like her hair. I like those legs. I want to fuck that girl." And then if they allow it, like if the girl's like, "Well, hold on, let's not fuck first. I need to talk with you. Can I talk to you for a second? Yeah. And then they talk, and then you guys get to know the girl. Right. That's male courtship. The woman, at least to me, I can't speak for all of us, but I'm like, yeah, this is decent enough, but like, what's on the inside? I'm Are you a serial you. killer? Are you yeah. going to kill me or beat me or something like that? Yeah. And I can even like an ugly person if they're nice enough. Like, men grow on you. Mm hmm but for dudes, like your your junk is wired to fuck a certain thing, and that's it. Yeah, well, it's kind of um, some of it's biological. You know what I mean? Like when you hit sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, that's when your your hormones start to like really spike. Yeah, and you're oh God, you're actually designed 
to seek mates. Like mm. that's what you're, you know what I mean? What like fuck? society shapes you in a way now that you go like, hey, be civilized, right? But yeah. your, your insights are like pursue females so that you have some receptacle for this, you know? And yeah, just, where your cum receptacles. Yeah, you want to spread your seed. That's what you're wired to do. Right. And then, you know, you learn, hey, you have to approach. But it takes you a while to know that. You don't know that. You're just like, hey, I've decided that you make my dick hard. <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> yeah. That's what it is. And, like, you know, I watch all these dumb BBC shows that you make fun of me for. You're yeah. like, you're so gay for watching these old yeah. lord and ladies. But the lords will be like, might I call on you sometime? Yeah. And that literally is like, hey, I want to put my dick in you, but because of this whole societal thing, I can't. Right. I'm just going to, can I like come to your house and we can walk in your garden until I propose to you and then I can fuck you? Like yeah, they, they yeah. force delayed gratification. But the thing is like, also that guy, I think I saw that scene. Yeah. Um, he was already like, his tea was going down. You could tell, you know. You think he was a low tea king already? Yeah, I think so. I don't think he was like really like, he wasn't like this guy, you know. Look at these no, fucking no, muscles. nobody's like this guy. Yeah, but so, that was back in the 1800s. You had to call on a lady. You had to call on. Yeah, I mean, I think the funny thing is, the older you get, the more that becomes right. Your tea kind of balances oh. out, and now you go like, "Hello, I'd like to get to know you." But when you're in your 20s, it's, it takes a minute to make that adjustment. Yeah, for it's fuck first, talk later. Talk later, yeah. But that's why the girls need to know, like, no, no, no. When they're coming after you like that, you have to stop and you then do. talk to me first. If it, it depends on your goal. Is your goal to bang it out too? Because a woman can be like, I just want to bang. Or is your goal uh, a relationship? If you're looking for a relationship and you hope it's a long-term one, you are probably better served to go, can I talk to you for a second, man? Yeah. But if, <laughs> if you're just like, if you just want to bang it out, then hey, by all means, bang it out. I, but yeah. a lot of times, most women are like, oh, I, I don't want to just give it out for nothing, right? Well, because it doesn't serve our, I mean, it doesn't really serve your interests long term. Long term, it doesn't. Because does. a lot of guys, it's true, like there's a, a, a stereotype, but a lot of guys will go, oh, I banged her. I'm not interested now. Well, of course, because yeah. you got the meat vessel, you yeah. got what you wanted. Yeah. And now you're out and you may not stick around. Unless to get to that shit or... is tighter than a keyhole, then you'll just keep coming back. You know For how I mean? long though, even? That loses its flavors. Yeah, true. Then but you just go, you pursue another one. You're like, you just go to the next, like this on one the next. Here. Yeah. But then it got me thinking like back in the days of lords and ladies in England and stuff, like, so he couldn't bust nuts until he got a ring on it. <sighs> That's fucking crazy. Bro, but like, so were those guys jerking off a lot? Probably not because they had servants. Right. So your servants had to jerk you off. Bro. Yeah. They didn't even put their own socks on. That means it was somebody's job to J Lord and Dukes, whatever uh, D. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Will you Google it, Josh Zola? Uh, like in the eighteen hundreds, uh, like uh, did Dukes uh, have people who jerked their dicks? Uh, like did your butler just J or D? And I uh, <laughs> this is really long. That's cool. But nobody teaches you that. And I yeah. studied medieval and Renaissance stuff in England, Ooh. and they didn't bring this up. Sex surrounded by their servants. Is it because their servants were simply their property and their significance made them not care about their presence? I don't know. It wasn't just servants who surrounded them. Members of the ruling class often had sex with their brides in front of their court nobles. Well, that's, but that's just showing that they're banging they in front. front of people. Well, yes, when you lose, so on the, on the night of the wedding. Yeah. In order to make sure the marriage is consummated, yeah. in France they would do that. Mm. So then they would have like the they were in as actually a status symbol to be invited. How about that one? Yeah, that's the, a good the one. The wedding night. Are like you that? listening to me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're invited to watch King Louis fuck his new wife. That's fucking rad. That's a hot ticket. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I'd watch that shit. Uh, oh yeah, I don't is know. That Louis? I, wanna, I have to watch him fuck the Sun King. Jesus. No, that's King Charles II. They were two of the most lustful kings of England, and they worked well cultivate their reputation as being the ultimate symbols of virility. King Charles II was the first king to use condoms, but still managed to have six children, as well as at least 14 official bastards Sweet. by seven different mothers. This guy was fucking living. King Edward VII was said to have at least three to four women a week for 50 years. And with his specially designed sex chair, he was easily able to entertain two ladies at once. God damn. Neither king was terribly fussy, and they certainly were not snobs, happily taking their pickings from noble women and actresses as well as prostitutes. It was 350 years ago this month that King Charles II cemented his reputation as the ultimate royal playboy when he fell for English actress Nell Gwynne 
1669, even though he was married and juggling at least six other mistresses. Man, these kings were really living it up. Um, scroll down some. Let's see what else. Any any good little tidbits here? Ruling England. Da, 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 da. There was a lot going on during the... I'm sorry, I can't... Can I tell you my flaw in my theory, though? Yeah. I figured it out. These guys don't even have to J30D. No, no. That's how royal they are. They don't course. spill their seed. They he's have never a, jerked his dick. There's a peasant who if comes. If you're a king, right. yeah, he's just like this one. This one. And then a person is always a receptacle to your gist. And also when the king, especially in it's this crazy. era, goes, hey, you, yeah, yeah, yeah. there is no like, I'm not into this. Or I'm married, I can't. No, there's a no. whole series devoted to this. When the king right, right. chooses but also, you, you like, have to do it. Yeah, you're die. You'll die yes. if you go like, I don't want It's this. like treason. It's like an act against the king if you don't fuck him. or be yeah. his mistress. And most of them, I got to say, these kings do not look very attractive. No, they're all super inbred. Yeah. A lady in waiting. A lady in waiting, a court lady, a personal assistant at court. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So in courts where polygamy was practiced, a court lady was formally available to the monarch for sexual services. And should she become his wife consort, and she could become the wife consort courtesan or concubine. Well, that's what happened with Henry VIII and, uh, yeah, Lady yeah. Jane Grey, I think, was yeah. one of the, I don't freaking remember. Well, but it's this lovely. Is, I've seen it's shows a lovely about story. These kings, so cool. Yeah. Because I, I remember the King Jong Il stories. Yeah, let's talk about that kind of. Kim Jong Il, <laughs> one of the fucking coolest guys of all time, if you don't know. Um, son of Kim Il sung, father uh, of Kim Jong Un. Kim Jong Il lived it up like he partied hard and they had trained much like the old english kings these ladies in wait they were the same uh for kim jong-il and they trained them to his preferences oh. and they they took care of them like they lived well and then it was just like knock knock king jong-il's dick is hard <sighs> you need to get in there and do his all his favorite little tricks and um you know if you satisfied him i think you kept living well yeah. and if you didn't you might go bye bye forever um, like sent to a labor camp, might get your tits chopped off. I bet if you get pregnant, they just kill you. Oh, just throw for you sure. in the fire. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's what the um, the guard. There's a documentary about the uh, the labor camps, yeah. and one of the guards who who actually escaped. He he ended up going to escaped. Went to South Korea. They um, they asked him. He was like, "Yeah, we would just find pretty ones, and then we would we'd go come in here, and." They wouldn't have a choice. So it, I mean, it's, it's, you know, it's basically forced, but it's not forced. Does that make sense? Like you're so, it's the guard at the labor camp. So you're just like, okay. Help me get out of this. And yeah. then he goes, and then if they got pregnant, he goes, we would just, send, he laughed. He goes, we just sent him back to the labor and then they would die there. <laughs> and he's he like, yeah, that's just how it goes. <laughs> I love how you're LOLing. Yeah, it was pretty fucking crazy. That's horrible. <laughs> it's pretty crazy. Dude. Oh, yeah, shit. Yeah, Pleasure Squad. Well, this is why you don't see people on the streets in North Korea. Women hide because they're literally being taken in as like sex sex toys. 2, to the 2,000 Kim sex slaves for Kim Jong-un? Wow. This is disgusting. This is how men are so fucking gross. Yeah. You guys are the worst. Uh, not really. If you think about it, we're kind of the best because he's helping them all... Do better you until know? they won't go pregnant. <laughs> they get pregnant. And you're it's dying. like you gotta die. You gotta die, dummy. But Korean food is delicious. That's the problem. Oh my god, it's my favorite. I would be Kim Jong Un's sex slave if he was like, "There's gonna be kalbi." Oh, sundobu and every sundobu, day. Sundobu, bulgogi. Yeah. Fuck yeah, dude. Fuck yeah. Look you think he does? He at least feed his concubines. All of them. Yeah, for sure. Because they, he wants to keep them. You healthy. live well when you're like you're part of the harem. When you're Kim Jong, yeah, for sure. It's probably actually a great gig gig to, to get. To be his mistress, If yeah. you live in North Korea yeah, yeah, and the yeah, alternatives yeah. you consider, you go, do you want to just be, you want to blow that guy? Because you get to live in this cool But the problem place. is there's no longevity. The minute he's sick, he's sick and tired of you, you're thrown away in the garbage. Like you live to be 30 and that's it. Yeah, but I mean, 30 great years. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty cool. Yeah. Can you imagine? Oh, yeah, or, comfort women. That's what yeah. I'm saying. Some worked as maids, but the most sexually attractive were ordered to become comfort women for powerful officials. Yeah, that's why there's no broads Look at on the him streets. eyeballing those two, and they're just like, ah. uh, <laughs> <laughs> so scared. So, so scared to make eye contact. Oh my god, you'd be so scared to yeah. be these guys' like lover. His concubine. especially, oh Jesus God, Christ. 
fucking uh, this guy. So remember afraid. when uh, Trump said that thing? He's like, this guy with the uncle, Jesus Christ. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Do you know how he killed his uncle? I forget. His uncle had threatened, had been part of, there's always been conversations in North Korea for in different cabinets to overthrow these guys, all the Kims, right? But when Kim Jong-un took power after Kim Jong-il died, there was his uncle and other head cabinet ma uh, members were talking about overthrowing him, right? And ending this wild dictatorship. Well, he found out that his uncle was part of this conversation. Mm -mm. So he took him out to a field and placed alone and then had grandstands for viewing oh, many yards away. You could buy tickets to it? Well, I think it was just for like the elite. And, his homies? And, and also for the homies. So he goes like, message. check out. Yeah, here's a message. And then he had his uncle killed with an anti-aircraft missile because he goes, I don't want a speck of hair to survive. Wow. So a guy is just standing there and then <laughs> like blows him up like that. And he yeah. just fucking evaporates. And then he was like, you guys want to go to lunch? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's pretty cool. We're having Calby. I think the message is clear, right? It was so clear. But I'm that's what the excited. medieval, that's what these guys did, the old kings and stuff. So he's like living yeah. in 1500. That's wild, dude. It's pretty fucking cool. Um, <laughs> oh, this is a, this is the same one or a different one? This must be a different uncle. Okay. What? This says that his execute um, was eaten alive by 120 hungry dogs. Okay. Well, well they're very hungry in North Korea. That this makes sense. I was told. This has to be a different guy, right? This has to be a different. I guy. think so. Yeah. Um. Oh my god. Oof. 120 hungry dogs ate his uncle. That's a brutal way to go, too. Yeah, I didn't think I dogs, think it's much more painful. But I didn't think dogs would eat people, but I guess they do. Yeah. I thought maybe a coyote would eat. If you train them to eat dog. Yeah, meat. A sure. wild dog. Yeah. And you starve them. Not a domesticated. Like Bitsy wouldn't be. No, Bitsy yeah, wouldn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get some rock wilders. <laughs> German shepherds. Yeah. It's also hungry for blood. Okay. So it looks like these were part of the same thing. It was the defense chief that he killed with the anti-aircraft oh, stuff. Okay. And then Fuck. his uncle, he fed to the dogs. I got it wrong. Whoa. So It's still pretty cool. The defense chief was killed. And this, is, this makes more sense. The person closer <sighs> to him had a more miserable death. Because the missile mm. kills you, you don't feel anything. Hungry dogs eating you, you feel being feel ripped apart. More. Yeah. Yeah. If I if I hated you more, definitely the dogs. Cool. Yeah. Here you go. They're showing you like, and then the other guy got. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Despicable humans. And then don't. imagine hearing that story, and then you get a knock at your door and be like, "Guess whose dick you're about yeah. to suck." Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Lover time. He, he just fed his uncle to some dogs, and you're gonna blow him right now. Can you imagine the terror? <laughs> you're fucking you're like, terrified. Ah. Oh, God, you know? <laughs> yeah. Did uh, I do good? You just come dripping down your face. Are you mad at me? Yeah. Ooh, there he is, looking at Unc. There he is, right there. Those aren't good claps. That's probably why he killed him. He was just like, dude. If I lived in North Korea. I would just live in a hole in the ground. Like oh, I would, they do. I would just find like my apartment, my shitty sad apartment, and yeah. I'd dig a fuck. I'd, I'd build another bunker just to disappear. Well, a lot of them want Can to. Can I just dig a hole, dig a tunnel to South Korea? Can we do that? I want to. I would spend my entire life with a spoon just digging my way to South Korea. Do you remember I found Fuck. What if in 2024 you learned a new language? Yeah. What if instead of just endlessly scrolling on social media, you learned Spanish? That's what I'm going to do this year. I'm going to learn Spanish instead of just scrolling endlessly. I'm going to make myself a better person. <laughs> and Babbel is a science-backed language learning app that actually works. Don't pay hundreds of dollars for private tutors or waste hours on apps that don't really help you speak the language. Babbel's quick 10-minute lessons are designed by over 150 language experts to help you start speaking a new language in as little as three weeks. Babbel's designed by real people for real conversations. Uh, Babbel's tips and tools are approachable, accessible, rooted in real life situations, and delivered with conversation-based teaching so you're ready to practice what you've learned in the real world. What I like best about Babbel is I can do it in my spare time. It really is just quick 10 minutes and I've learned a new word, like camiseta. Camiseta. Do you know what that is? You have to get on Babbel to find out. 
Here's a special limited time deal for our listeners right now. Get 55% off your Babbel subscription, but only for my listeners at babbel.com slash YMH. Get 55% off at babbel.com slash YMH, spelled B-A-B-B-E-L dot com slash YMH. Rules and restrictions apply. My personal New Year's resolution is to eat healthier. I mean, gosh, when am I finally going to do that? Hungry Root is the easiest way to get fresh, high-quality food delivered to your door. They've got healthy groceries and simple recipes all in one place. You take a fun, short quiz, and Hungry Root uh, will get to know you, your goals, and how you like to eat. They'll ask what flavors you like, which kitchen appliances you use, and more. And then they'll keep your needs and preferences in mind as they build your cart with delicious recipes and all your grocery needs for the week. Hungry Root sent me fresh ingredients for delicious recipes like Gouda cheeseburgers on a pretzel bun and zesty chicken tacos. Everything has just been so delicious. They even sent me uh, these healthy little snacks and treats. And right now, Hungry Root is offering your mom's house listeners 40% off your first delivery and free veggies for life. Just go to HungryRoot.com slash mom to get 40% off your first delivery and get your free veggies. That's HungryRoot.com slash mom. Don't forget to use our link so they know we sent you. Remember I, I showed you these a little while ago? Welcome to the day in the life oh, of a yeah. 29 year old small business owner. <laughs> and like, People hate her, God. Yeah, for no reason. They're so mean to her. Please delete your account. <laughs> I hate her. Stop lying. You don't go to the gym. Uh. You know, you motivate me to not be huge. <laughs> so mean. We found another guy who's also just living his life like being just a nice hated. guy. He's like, oh, here, I'll show you the video. Updated max bench. I noticed strength gain physically session to session and feeling that translates my max number is rewarding to say the least. Week by week, I've been adding more and more plays to the bar. And after what's felt like no time at all, I've already got my one rep max from 235 plays to 245. I have an Olympic bar, which makes this a total of 135, which makes me more and more excited to chase that big 150 mark. Okay, so this guy is essentially just going, hey, I lift weights. I've been, li I've been lifting weights and I'm, I'm trying to get stronger. And by the way, I'm getting there, like yeah. incrementally. Well, the way you get stronger, just putting out this video. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so someone wrote first four things. Smith machine doesn't count. That's the machine that he's using. It's not freestanding, so it has that. Uh, that's called a Smith machine. And okay. what happens is you don't have to use any stabilizing muscles, right? You just it just you just get to go up and down. It's like a resistance. Well, is it a real bar? It's a real, the bar is actually, it's, he's actually, that's probably not a, um, uh, an Olympic bar. It's a little lighter. But the main thing is that you don't have to control the weight yourself completely. The machine mm. keeps it from moving this oh, way. Okay, okay. You just have to push it up, right? Gotcha. It's called a Smith machine. So they go, Smith machine doesn't count. 135 on Smith is like 95. Three, you're gay. Four, <laughs> sending hate from Canada. Look at the likes. 113,000. What? 613 so for this weird. guy. It's so weird. It's so weird. You're gay. Your gloves are gay. Smith machines are gay. I'm a 10th grader and I bench more than you. 10,000 <laughs> likes. <laughs> it's fucking crazy. It's crazy. It's so mean. Don't ever step foot in Northwest Morocco. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Somebody said I'm that. Hate from Australia. <laughs> Just the, hate. And they're the friendliest. I know. And usually these messages say like, love from, right? Sure. That's, that's the whole thing. Love yeah. from. 5,000 likes. Hate from Albania. 19,000 likes. Yeah. Uh, Dude, what? Put on 415 and drop it on your face. <laughs> <laughs> Insane. A full day of eating for a full-time gym rep. Today, I decided to prepare one massive meal to meet my protein goals, but eventually, I'd like it. to start having one big breakfast and so on. I'm making oh. a big stir fry with two chicken breasts, one fourth of a red and yellow sweet pepper with some broccoli and white rice. I'll also be preparing three full fillets of salmon, which is amazing for me because salmon is something I don't have often, but it's just so good, I might have to add it to my normal food rotation. Okay. This meal alone okay. is well over so, 100 grams of protein. So he's like, here's all my stuff. I actively pray for your downfall. <laughs> Imagine being like, I'm just trying to take better care of myself. With the current global turmoil between nations, they all still manage to unite together to hate on this guy. <laughs> That's so true. So crazy. Uh, homie's on an estrogen cycle. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> all he did was go, I made chicken today. <laughs> They're like, we fucking hate your guts, dude. Oh, Jesus Christ. 
Diet consists of hormone blockers and soy milk. Yeah. You just, it's just funny that some people's, I don't know. I know what it is. Can I tell you my theory? Yeah, now? tell me. I have a theory. I have a theory. Okay. A, number one, the common denominator between the, the heavy set lesbian and this is that they are a, like, gay or trans or like wait right so right away there's that kind of maybe they're a little kind bit of nerdy homophobic. they're nerdy too yeah well there's the trans or the homophobia too number one a little bit of that i don't think either one is trans just so well, you know you know what I, no i'm just yeah. saying like a little gayness yeah yeah they're fey yeah they're gay yeah or whatever uh there's that and then also they're nice like s- submissive beta types they're sincere too which the earnestness and yeah. the sincerity lends itself to bullying these are just the kids that got bullied in, in school real life, it's the same thing and they're just getting what they deserve on social like, media you remember <laughs> seeing like a, they deserve but the kid who's like the yeah, backpack they're, they're dorks yeah. weighs more than them and they yeah. walk like this and then someone just goes shove them into <laughs> a locker and you're like yeah yeah what's that all about and, dorks. and they're like whatever it's fucking idiot <laughs> person picks themselves up like <laughs> and they're just doing this online yeah it's funny that it never changes it that's never middle changes. school and high school this is fucking 30 year old people and people are still like fuck you man yeah but but <laughs> they're trying to stop bullying now in yeah. schools or it's, it's like it's never going to stop it just shows you though that this is human nature of course human nature goes who's weak who's weak and then they they go for it now yeah. here's the thing the same i don't know if it translates on online in real life that kid, because you've even seen like the videos of it now with everyone having cameras, kid who gets bullied like that enough, sometimes they pop a bigger kid in the face and everyone's like, oh shit, it changes. It changes that the per- dynamic. The, yeah, yeah. But like online, I don't know if there's much you can do because you can't really <sighs> fight the internet. You lose every time you try to fight the internet. Well, I mean, look, you can change the earnestness of the tone Instead of being like, and I don't usually have famine in my diet. See, now I'm yeah. starting to fucking hate you it. You are. You're totally I'm mocking like, this kid. Yeah. Because now I'm like, what? What, do you, what? Don't fucking say that. Just say, bro, I'm about to get jacked as fuck. But that's not Here's who he what is. I eat. Because that's a person with high self-esteem would be like, here's what I eat in a day to, to gain weight and get fucking ripped. You come with me on this journey. Why That's do his a different arms look big with no definition? Triceps take up about 70% oh of your God. arm muscles, so training them will make your arms look more full. I overdid it on my first round of tricep training, which was a little over a month ago, so I've been waiting for my elbow pain to subside, and it's finally time to train them again. Overall, I'm happy with my current progress, but I can feel some serious gains coming my way in the near future. Okay. Oh, how, how harassed is he getting? If you try fentanyl, your arms will grow <laughs> even bigger. Holy shit, bro. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Don't listen to any positive comment. <laughs> oh, my God. I uh, fucking hate you. What type of tampon do you use? Oh, man. So the other thing is, I, I realize the only way this kid can defeat this. You want to know what it is? What? He just stays in the pocket keeps training and actually gets jacked and then people respect and you. then all of a sudden they'll be like oh shit he did it and then they're yeah. like hey man i always i was always a big fan bro yeah 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 i used to say shit to try to motivate you i'm glad it works you know <laughs> yeah that's exactly what they'll do that's how you win yes you know like that girl the coffee girl that gets bullied yeah if she i don't know lost weight and then posted that they'd be like hey good job good job yeah all they're, the they're, they're attacking your weakness and then you have to show them that you're not weak. well either that or you double down on your dorkiness that's for instance yeah. there's this dork can you find this nerdy boy he's an english guy he has the he's the train enthusiast yeah 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 you know what i mean and he's like oh, i'm so excited to die i found and he doubled down on it and hold on yeah and he goes today i'm having a party with my friends on the train and he's got a girlfriend he's got friends here's something about that guy though i think that's a bit of an act no i don't know i, yeah, no. I did a deep dive on him i think it's a bit of an act i think he he was it there was like a little bit of sincerity and then he dials it up he right. dials so that's it what up. I'm saying. So yeah, he yeah. leaned into, he the leaned into the dorkiness You're right. and go, you know what? I am a dork. Fuck you. Here's what I like. And guess what? I'm getting laid and I have friends suck my train loving dick. That's what these, these dorks need to do. And I think that's what the other girl's doing. The donut uh, coffee enthusiast. She laughs at them. <laughs> this guy's so sweet. Look at his jumper. Can you play one? He gets so pumped. I'm so excited. Up to Birmingham today Birmingham. to see one of my favourite classes of locomotive, the Class 56. Ooh. And even better still, I've, I think a really great driver called Tony will be driving. Please give it some power. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> Leans into yeah. it. There's no way he's Go like. On. They love. They love it. I love it though. I love watching this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's bad. Oh, it's Tony Middleton. Okay, I, I'll tell you why I kind of get this exactly now. What I wanted. I want to beat the fucking shit out of this guy. I know. Just on that post alone. I know. Yeah. I know because he's Knock a dork. Off. He's a yeah. dork. But it, bo yeah, it bothers me the dorks are like. You still like trains and just fucking. <laughs> you know what I mean? Hold it, hold his head, <laughs> like hold it so that it's like on the track. So you fucking want it like that, you know? <laughs> I am glad to see the internet correcting itself now yeah where it's like guess what guys this dynamic between humans is never going to change teenagers are going to show yeah. the weak ones this is it's never going to no it's one's going to have life. total acceptance all you do is you go you don't let them kill them you know yeah don't yeah. hurt them physically yeah, yeah. well no. i mean you know shove them into a locker smack them in the head like that stuff but don't you know don't crack his fucking jaw well I'll, let's put it this way I mean, I got bullied or whatever in Everybody seventh did. grade physically, but I was getting into fights, Yeah. but it did help me. It corrected me because then I was like, oh, I don't, you shouldn't say stuff to people. Like yeah. you shouldn't mouth off. And then I just learned how to hide who I was and, you know, slowly become depressed, traumatized, depressed and yeah. suicidal. But I'm just saying that yeah. it was kind of good for a long yeah. time. It made me funny. I got, I, I got I like three kids like beat me up the first day of fifth grade mm. and then um afterwards i just worked out more that summer for and i came back stronger and then they were like oh what's up man try to be friends you know mm -hmm. yeah Every, it's true everybody gets it yeah is anybody immune to bullying i don't no. think so you and can pee I, on you a, i peed on a kid's stuff one time you pee on a kid's stuff yeah what huh i was pissed on his stuff did you hate him or just yeah. peer pressure no 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 one was there i just didn't like him I'm pissed on all his stuff <laughs> How'd that turn out? I don't know. He was fucking going crazy trying to figure out who did it. Oh, you never fessed up? No, of course not. I was just like, yeah. who would it do that to you? <laughs> did you get into trouble? No, no one knew. <laughs> How old were you? 17. <laughs> uh, really? Yeah. Fucking tool. So. That's cool. Yeah. You can still do that. Jack off on people's stuff, pee on it, wipe shit on it. Yeah. I feel like you can actually. Because yeah. that one you can get away with. Yeah, now you can do it. It's very upsetting to, to people when they find out you peed on their stuff. Yeah. yeah. That's so true. That would upset me so much because then you're like, who did this? Yeah, it's a fucking douchebag. Yeah. All right, let's take a quick break. Sure. We'll be right back. We are back and welcoming for the first time a hilarious comedian. You can check out the Tiger Milf podcast. You can see her in New York on January 21st at New York Comedy Club. It's Zhao Ying Summers, everybody. Hey! I'm so Yay. happy to be here. Zhao Ying, you're so my absolute you. favorite. And you're just blowing up. You just came back from doing a movie. And who is it with? Some famous guy? I don't know. Brian Austin Green. She just came back from Spain. You did a movie. You're just in Cosmopolitan magazine. You did the Apollo. That happened. It was packed. It was good. How it's was amazing. that? Super it was fun. really good. Yeah. I, I couldn't believe there's so many Chinese showed up. But there's no Chinese restaurant that's opening in Harlem. I feel bad for no. the black people that <laughs> <Yeah>. night. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> There's like um there, there's a huge Chinese population in New York. Like, there are. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. There's probably I mean, New York is famous for amazing Chinese restaurants. Like, yes. Do you have a favorite um he, like stateside place to get good Chinese food? Uh in New York it will be Flushings. In really? LA will be Arcadia, Monterey Park, uh, San hey, Gabriel Valley. Well, that's yes. where all that also has like the great sushi hidden sushi spots. Yes. Hidden Chinese spots. Like everybody goes to San Gabriel when they want the authentic shit. Yes. Yeah. That's yeah. where the Chinese people live, babe. Well, I mean, I'm just saying, like the LA that's people will live. make that trip if they want that like the real deal. Yeah, that's real. I think the food quality is also very good in America. There's no fake eggs. So like actually it's like really good food, even compared fake to China. Eggs. There's eggs that are fake in China. Shut the front door. Yeah. It looked like a real egg, but it's a chemical. China is what? also really good at fake anything. Yes. Yeah. There's fake Apple stores in China. <laughs> you know about this? I, I'm pretty sure there is. There's fake Apple stores. That's so, so, like, wild. not Apple products. The whole store is counterfeit. That's so crazy. Yeah. I hope it's discounted. Uh, probably. But I mean, they have the best counterfeit 
watches. Watches are good. I got bags. you a good one in South Korea. When yes. I uh, they do the like the the designer bags, designer mm-hmm. clothes. Like it is, they even have counterfeit cars. Like yeah. that's how meticulously well done that shit is. Yeah, I'm actually a man. Yeah, you're, and you do such a good job. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. What is that about the Chinese culture? Why do they like counterfeiting shit so? Much? I think uh, being being wealthy is so important. It's like uh, Japan in the 70s when Japan have all their cars, they they start getting wealthy. They spend so much money buying luxurious goods. Uh-huh. But in China, the few people are very very, very wealthy, and right. like the majority of people are not wealthy. But uh, in China, it's so competitive for men to get uh, a woman because of one-child policy. There's mm-hmm. way more men, less women. So all the big, fat, ugly bitches, they can pick hot guys. And they mm-hmm. also re- like uh, demand uh, cars, nice cars, yeah. like apartments for their ugly brothers to get wives. Wow. Yeah, it's just that right now, all the men are paying the price for the one-child policy because- Now, didn't that policy just recently change? It, it changed, but people were just like, it's so expensive to raise children. I prefer yeah. to not have any or but just one. But the state was saying, hey, go ahead and have yeah, more. Yeah, have more. Yeah. But because of the, the people are getting older, yeah. and also there's way more men at this age is getting married and less women. And yeah. the, it's very hard for them to get married. So they just want to look like they have all the nice things. Right. It's so competitive mm. to, so to competitive. find a wife. I heard this thing about, um, about, you know, there's always espionage, right? Between our countries, mm-hmm. between China and the U S I mean, all countries, but, but it's like notable, uh, the espionage there. And they said that one of the reasons I've heard this, that it's very hard to, um, get somebody, who's a Chinese national to become a U.S. spy is that in China, they look very low down on government jobs. Like working for the government is like the shittiest job you can get. Is that that true? true? Um, They they just, uh, I feel like uh, in China, because you can make so much money doing business. Yeah. And also they look down on doctors and lawyers. People don't think being a doctor and lawyer makes more money. Doing business make way more money. Yeah. Right. So they like, think if you have to go to work, you have to clock in, you are a loser. That's how they think. So a government <laughs> would be like a super loser. Yeah, you have to go to work. <laughs> but uh, you, you know, some people say tang zhuan, laying in bed and making money. That's yeah. what people's yes. dream is. So they open the stores, like uh, the fake Apple stores. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know what I love about the Chinese too is that you guys are... Good, you guys are very unabashedly into material things. Like, there's no shame about like no, India no, no. too. Be rich, mm-hmm. be rich, make your money. Don't. Be. And I think in America, it's like we have a shame about it. Like, yeah. But then we're like, oh, but I'm still, I'm still just a good person, even though I'm rich. You guys aren't like that. Yeah, I just uh, feel like money is power. Yeah. If it's everything, even if it's a war, it's all about money. Who has more money? We are going to help people who is going to benefit us, benefit us financially. That's all. It's ugly, but that's the truth. Because you can you can just make fun of, just attack all the people you hate and just do the talk. But you are not going to treat your son to fight for the war. So yeah. your right. son can die for the people you, you are righteous reasons. You don't want that. You don't, you just, the people just talking cheap. Just get yeah. the fucking money and get the fuck out of the war zone, bitch. Yeah. That's the only way you can do. You just fuck the right guy, steal the right money, get the fuck out of the war zone. That's the only thing you can do. Stop bitching about it. Yeah. yeah. I think, um, no, the funny thing is, I remember talking to the Peters about this, you know, Russell Peters, Clayton Peters, and their uh, parents are Indian, right? They came from India to, they immigrated to Canada. And we talked about, about how there's kind of like no shame in the Indian culture, at least here, maybe, I don't know if it's the same India, about showing, right? Wealth. Showing wealth. Sure, and, and the then, fatter and you are, you have more money. You're but eating. like the, the wealth thing <laughs> good. was like a display of like, yeah, we, we came here and we made it. So yeah. like you show, right, with clothes, with cars, with status, and there's no shame in that. Of it's course. like you're always showing your stuff. I think because in America, you guys have the old money. You guys being wealthy for a long, long, long time. Right. So people who are showing money means they are new money. Mm-hmm. So yeah. they, you look down at them. But like in, in, in India and China, you know, after the war, uh, the country is new. When you have money, that means you came from nothing. You have money means you are disciplined, you work hard, you have talent. Yeah. Mm. So people like show it off. It's like uh, showing off, uh, I, I work a long time for this. Yes. Mm. It's a sign of hard work. Being in America is like, we have the Rockefellers. Where are you from? TikTok? You yeah. know, <laughs> disgusting. I think that's probably why. That's so, it's funny. The, yeah. the new money split, too, in, in China is very, like, it's, it's substantial, 
right? And it's and it is very new for some. Like when we, I was in Hong Kong, and then we go to Macau, and in Macau we're walking around, and you see these like little Chinese dudes, and they have a Prada shirt, Gucci shades, like yeah. all this shit, and like the people like that were taken around, they're like that's that's a new money guy, mm-hmm. like he just got, he's from maybe like a fucking farmland, yeah, and he just got came into money, and he wants everybody to know, he's like I got fucking money, dude. yes, so he's showing you with everything, yeah. It's very, it's very Eastern distinct. Eastern Europeans too. It's totally. Like, yeah. So my stepdad was Indian. My mother was Hungarian. And the first thing they did when they got money, like it legit, like Rolex and like Mercedes. I have Mercedes. It's a good car. And she drove her Mercedes with her new ring down <laughs> to the women's gym that she went to when she was poor. And she said, fuck you bitches. Look, I'm rich now. And that like it was, it literally was a day that my mother was so yeah. stoked that she could drive her Mercedes and show her ring and be like, I made it. Fuck you. I she made it. She probably also came. Yeah. When she walked <laughs> she, in, she did. she's shining them with her ring and thing. Yeah. She's like, yes. The same with my stepdad, you know, he, he was skinny and hungry his whole life. And then he moved to America and he's like, fuck you. I'm eating. I'm eating. I'm going to get fat and rich. And you know, I get it. I get it. Yeah. I get it. When you come from nothing, you want to fucking show motherfuckers that you're not shit too. Yeah. Because yeah. they money. think you're shit. They think you're shit. Yeah. You are and you have a great story. Would you mind telling my uh, our listeners and my husband your whole story? I oh love my it. God. Yeah. I So I grew up in China in the 90s. There's in, the one child policy. In Northern China. Northern yeah. China. My mother was afraid I would be a girl. So she had me in the hospital, in the home, in my home. So yeah. just in case I was a girl, so they can get rid of me. Yeah, yeah. And then they would never have a child, so they can be having another one, yeah. hopefully the boy. And my father was taking me out and my mom just, she just feel like, you know what? She's ugly, but she's a fighter. She cried, you dropped her, like she didn't die. If she didn't die after you drop her, maybe she's not gonna die, you know, I'm gonna keep her. Yeah. So she kept me, but she made sure I know it every day. That, that you... <laughs> Yeah, I'm like she. Not I'm, a prize. I'm from the dumpster. She saved my life. She's my hero. So that's why, like, I for the longest time, I have no patience for weakness. Like, I was in yeah. school in Kentucky. My friends are like, my mom is a bitch. She did not come to my ballet recital twice in yeah. middle school. Yeah, I'm like, because you are a fat bitch. You are not a ballerina. If you were good, she'll be there. Look at you. We found her the money. Like, are you kidding me? My mom is a hero. Like she brought me back from the dumpster, even though my penis was missing. Can you yeah. imagine? <laughs> yes. like, why are you complaining? Yeah. <laughs> but what I love yeah. about you is that Zhao Ying wanted to come to America so bad that she went to Kentucky. I went to Kentucky. Was your okay? Was your vision of what it would be anything like what it became? <laughs> no. Well, you imagined like the promised land. Like, yeah, I imagine the Hollywood movies. Yeah. I watched the, you know, Audrey Hepburn, Marilyn Monroe, and the Holly Berry. And you're like, that's America. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> then I went to the cousin land. Like I just, I didn't understand what is going on. Were you depressed when you got here? I mean, I, I, I I'm happy. I'm, I'm not with my mom anymore, so that's good. <laughs> yeah. Mm, but I did not become a hot. Because I was slouching, I was not confident. I tried to cover my big face with my hair. I was just hiding around in the corners. But I was very good at math, and I was tutoring oh. mathematics. And uh, oh, I thought you said I was good at math. Well, I should try that too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But you were good at math, and you were math. Yeah, I was doing kids. tutoring okay. math, and I was making money. And uh, then I met a, a model girl who started teaching me makeup. Oh. Then I, I'm a painter, so I start doing makeup for people. I okay. don't know how to do it, but I know how to draw shit on their face. Yeah. So I just start doing putting flowers on those like uh, butterflies on their face. So I start making money doing yeah. makeup. I start trying to look like a woman. Then I decide to become <laughs> a girl. I <laughs> I start showing my face, stop slouching, and yeah. uh, I just uh, become a pretty girl. Yeah. yeah. Out of the blue, it was crazy. Did you date American men? Yes, I had my first boyfriend, a Kentucky guy, a Kentucky yeah. boy. How was that? Um, I think he's just like a, he wants to learn in, uh, Chinese from me. I think that's what he, he wanted did. to learn. Yeah. Learn Chinese. That's really? Because he wanted to go to J- Japan and his visa was rejected. Then he's like, okay, I'm just going to try China. Try China. <laughs> yeah. And uh, you know, he wants to go to China. He wants to speak Chinese. You know, my sister speaks Mandarin. That's amazing. Ama- and that, that's useful. Your face mm-hmm. right now is exactly like I've told this story before. So she joined <laughs> the, uh, the Navy and went to the language Institute and then they do hardcore, like eight hour a day classes, like five, six days. Like these people are heavily immersed. So I saw her after a, a break and we went to a restaurant and the, it was one of those like, you know, the Japanese, but they just take any Asian. They're like, you're Japanese. Mm-hmm. So he's chopping it up, doing it. 
she starts speaking Mandarin. This guy fucking drops the thing. He was like, what? And he couldn't believe that she could actually, he was like, he starts telling, he goes, I've never met a white person that speaks Mandarin. And she just, he couldn't even cook. He was like, like frozen because she was just going back and forth with him. And he was like, oh my God, I've never, he called other people over. Yeah. To see it. Yeah. It's, she's like a, a giraffe in the zoo. It's just, yeah. Yeah. It's it was crazy. Amazing. Also, like if you are um, anything other than uh, Asian, you go to the Great Wall, you are a celebrity. Really? Yes. Really? Yeah. Like if we have a guy who is a white guy, look at him, they will think he's Tom Score. He can make money taking photos with them. <laughs> People just, the, I, I, it's crazy. Everybody think all Asian look alike. Yeah. But yeah. like my mom, she'd be watching the Olympics. Like, why are they the same? Like, what? Oh, oh, they are all the same. All the white people are the same. All the black people look the same. Yeah, like, yeah. So, so wait, Asians think we all look the same? Yeah. Oh, See, that's doesn't so doesn't it make cool. you feel better, They'll though? think you are Margot Robbie. You can go there and <gasps> make money um, just taking to. photos. Just blonde? Yeah, you should go that's do that. You also have the bone yeah. structure, so you oh, guys so would be familiar, familiar, similar. Well, I remember when I went to South Korea, I felt like a giant because I was like, I, like, I went to go bra shopping and I was like, dude, like, Half of my one of my tits can fit into these bras. They're so they're just tinier. They have because like, being a double zero, uh, being a skinny hoe is popular in Asia yeah. because when your husband beat you, you can't run away. It's, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you're too oh, weak. You're too weak. It's very smart. Yeah. American men learn. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Don't encourage women to have curves. Just make starve them. But they did like blonde hair. I remember people yeah. look. Oh, they wear cat, they wear eye contact to have blue hair, blue eyes, blue, blue eyes, eyes and to, look, to look white. If wow. you see the see the K-pop, you know all of yes. the pretty skinny, like pretty skinny white looking blonde hair people are kissing in the front. Yes. all the yeah. dark thick bitches mopping the floor in the back. <laughs> yeah. But that is so true. The Asians, because I was friends with some Japanese girls in college, and they were like, oh, I'm so fat. I'm so fat. But they weren't. Like, they were like twigs. Yeah. And they would take hot baths to try to, like, steam out the fat. I'm mm -hmm. like, you're not even, I must be obese. You must think I'm a disgusting pig. I, they, but they shame you, too, They right? shame you. They'll tell yeah. you. Like, yeah. they walk to you and pinch you. I was uh, at Cosmo. <laughs> they were like, uh, you are so brave. You know, you would... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you, you, are you sure you don't want to, you know, you don't want to, us to make his, you skinnier during the Photoshop? I said, no, I'm okay with this. You're like, you are okay. You really learn to love yourself too much in America. <laughs> <laughs> we'll handle it in post. Don't worry. You won't look like this Oof. later. Yeah, don't worry. Yeah. It's going to look different. That yeah. is fucking hilarious. They shame you into it, right? Like, yeah. doesn't, does your mother tell you, like, when you have babies, like, right after, like, oh, you better thin down yeah she's like yeah. Uh, you just had a baby and you gained 30 pounds i'm like i just had a baby she's yeah. like oh uh, dog big yellow has three puppies <laughs> 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 she's back to normal you three days fuck dude holy so, shit so you were in kentucky you have a white boyfriend how long did that last for uh it, it lasts like i think long for a year was he romantic he was young and he was he, he was a virgin i was a virgin and uh, he was uh, Sweet? I think he was just, he was kind of sweet, but then he was cheating on me and I found <gasps> out uh, he went to law school and in, in Virginia and then I'm, I'm a Chinese woman. I went, I log in his Facebook. I have his account. He didn't know I have it. <laughs> we have a family phone plan. I can log into his phone. I have, I copied another, I, I have everything. Yeah. I know yeah. how many times they text, what they text and I hacked into his Facebook. I know yeah. everything they're saying is a girl from England and <gasps> he's like, no, we never did anything. I said, you are fucking. And I know it. Uh, I'm calling off the engagement. He's like, are you kidding me? Well, you were engaged. Yeah, we were engaged because, you know, you need a green card. So <laughs> I, I just uh, dumped him. Good for you. And what, but what happens to your status at that point? I was a student and okay. I, it was fine. I, I just, uh, I was working in Japanese restaurants owned by Chinese people that's, in Kentucky. Yeah, of course, there you go. The, the Chinese own Japanese restaurant because that's how we, you know, feel better. We are better than them. We can control the sushi chefs. Yeah, <laughs> they spit in the sushi, so don't go to a Chinese restaurant. The Japanese yeah. restaurant owned by Chinese men because the sushi chef. They Who's spit. your biggest like beef with in the Asian world? Which country? I, I think, I think I, I, I don't like uh, the Indians. The Indians because the, because they they don't show their anger. Oh, they they are more vicious than Chinese. Really? Ooh. Yeah. The but they Indians, just don't show it. They don't show anything. Chinese will be like, oh, uh, I don't like how you treat me like this. I don't like the Asian hate. I don't like this. The Indians, you can say whatever you want to me. As long as I'm getting the money, I'm winning or lose. They, they actually have, I don't know. They, like they, super stoic super, about it. Yeah, yeah. They actually are like just more smart about it. They mm. just don't get affected. The Chinese people would reject the job because they got insulted. The Indians don't give a fuck. Mm. They'll take the job, make the money and tell you fuck you later. 
Mm. Wow. I think that's what is going on with the Indians. Let me ask you this. Most importantly, back when you were growing up in China, did you have Chinese boyfriends? Are you allowed to date or is it I wasn't serious? allowed to date. Also, nobody wanted to date me because I wasn't pretty. So they just uh, look at me. I, I had a boy. I read I poetry. I don't believe you. I don't believe you. You're, you're very pretty. Yeah. For, I think like after, like I guess I got confident and I start to like become a girl but before I just I found out I was ugly I just give up I cut my hair real short I was wearing sports clothing you're like I I'm was, never gonna have a man I, I, I was popular though for setting exam exam uh, answers um, you sold I, your exam answers yes I have a business I basically I have a phone <laughs> and I sell to subscribers <gasps> To buy my answers. You are so... This is what That's, I love about you. I was popular. Yeah. Everybody want my number. All the guys want my number. And uh, I have a service of the homework. Also, I, ha I hired four or five people to do homework for lazy bitches. And I also this sell is, answers. Listen, this is cool. Jenny, for exams. she's going to rule yeah, show this business. this is cool. I like You're this. You're fucking such this a go-getter, dude. I want to be popular. Thank you. I won't be yeah. popular. I wasn't... I, I can be popular other ways. I wasn't pretty. Fuck that. I just become yeah. popular yeah, because I was a bad bitch. you found your way. Yeah. But, yeah. Like, but that's admirable. That's, People like me. Yeah. They, Everybody want my number. People want to hang out with me yeah. because uh, that's how they can, know they that can you're get a smart plus. and you're a hustler. Yeah. Yes, I hustle. Mm -hmm. yeah. I that's, love that. That's, that's going to serve you really well for sure. In, in comedy, right? Yes, absolutely. I sell scorpions too. In one of the biggest. <laughs> one of the biggest. <laughs> to sell scorpions. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I took the kids to the mountains to catch scorpions under the rock, and I sell it to the Chinese medicine store. They put scorpions in alcohol. Oh, it's right. good for your dick to get hard. Yeah. yeah. Do you have any with you? I, I can go to my hotel room and get some. Okay. It's, it's good. Scorpion alcohol get your dick hard. And yeah. it's so expensive. So I have uh, all the fat guys to flip the <laughs> yeah. rocks for me. Wait, use chopstick to catch them, put it in the drawer. And then we sell them. I would get 90% of the money. I give them $10. They buy cr fat crackers and <laughs> candies. Dude, <laughs> I would love to gift the staff some scorpion Yeah, can juice. you hook us up? Please? Yeah. Yes. You know what I love about you two is that my immigrant mother, she's dead now, but they're so brutal to us. And I, I love that you, you have this mom that just abuses you. She won't stop. And you just, but, but she, she made you kind of successful, right? For that sure. made, she didn't make That's you. Part, I think so. It's, it's how, you, well, it's how you reacted to your mother. Yeah. yeah. People, some people would have a mother like that and they just go, I'll just, I'll Become just, a heroin addict. you know, yeah. I'll, I'll be what you say I am. And then uh -huh. some people go, I got to do something about it. You know? Yeah. I, I just feel like the mom, the way my mom treat me, uh, helped me to prepare the way the world treat me. And uh, mm. I would react to the way that I, I think of how my mom, I, I'll be like, okay, you think I'm a loser. That's cute. I will show you who's daddy. There you go. That's what <laughs> you know? I'm talking about. But cute. this is why this will serve you in common. The big problem <laughs> for a lot of comedians <laughs> is they do, they, they're funny. Uh -huh. They lack all hustle. So what happens is time goes by and you're like, yeah, that guy or that girl, they're really funny. And like, what, how come nothing's going on for them? And it's like, because they have zero drive to like, you, you have to have the creative stuff, which is the comedy, but they have no creative like drive to achieve. They, they, don't, they just don't, they're like, well, I'm funny. That should just be enough. Here's the thing. It's not enough. It's not no. enough. Or they it's don't learn enough. the business. No. You have to money. have the hustle factor yeah. on top of the comedy if you want to progress. After one month, I did a stand up. I was doing open mics. I realized there's not enough time. I want 10,000 hours. So I bought my comedy club on Melrose. She bought her own comedy club, Tom. Amazing. I drove by. I see a clothing store that's um, for lease. I went inside. They have ugly clothes. So I said, lady, just give me this. You know, I'm going to I'm gonna make it into something else. So wow. So I ran it into a, a comedy club. It's like an open mic place. Yeah. But, and then on weekends, we have four sh like four shows a weekend. I got it a month after. I I mean, I did I started comedy in December, and I bought it on January. It opened in two weeks. Wow. I hired an Asian guy to that's why yeah that's why yeah that's why it was taiwanese guy though he's slow if a chinese guy mainland yeah. one week taiwanese people <laughs> the moment they, they get some freedom they got lazy you know he's like taking lunch breaks i'm like honey you don't take lunch breaks you're asian <laughs> <laughs> typical taiwanese I bullshit like, yeah. i'm like no you don't you don't have lunch you do you get serve drinks and food there or? uh we are getting a beer wine license i'm nice. applying i'm gonna take over the next door uh to knock it down and just make it bigger it's because you need to sell alcohol to make it real money. You do. That's, that's what I'm yeah. saying. That's when everything will change. I was thinking, I'm keeping the club. I need to make more money to yeah. keep it. So I, I want. To, so I'm buying that. That'll change your, your profit margin for Dude, sure. I think so. Yeah. Not only is she a club owner and she's doing movies. She's in Cosmo magazine. She's she's a mother of two small children. Yeah, that's. I'm a single nice. mom. The the husband left. You know? I can't believe that, dude. 
So he, wait, he got to know me. He's like, no. <laughs> after after Kentucky guy, uh -huh. you are single again. Yeah. Do you date another American? Yeah, I I married my uh, college sweetheart. Oh, he's, you did. Okay. Yeah, he's a uh, he's two years younger than me. Mm -hmm. He's Russian American. Very. <gasps> Very, oh, wow. but he was like he came here when he's four, five years old. So he's pretty American. He's like my first the true love. But I was Aww. a stupid bitch. I just I'm like I don't want to have babies. I want to be famous and successful yeah. before I have kids with you. So it's not gonna happen. Then I just feel like I want to I want my career so much. I didn't know I can have both. Yeah. I did not know that with the right man you can have both. So that's the only way, man. I I just we we drift apart. I decided to move to Hollywood. He came to UC Irvine for science. He's a biochemist. So we were living together. I'm like, no, I need to move in Hollywood to become an actress. So we we had a distance, and then I was not smart enough to know that's the man who truly loved me because he mm -hmm. always encouraged me, and he always believed in me. He never really pressured me, but I just feel like, why are you so nice to me? Something's wrong with you. Mm, you're because, not used to that love. Yeah. So now I'm like, oh my god. Do you ever have contact with him or no? I think he's traumatized by me, but uh, yeah. he's in Denver. I may go there. Or he has a girlfriend or fiance, but I don't think they're getting married anytime soon. Yeah. yeah. No, also, she could her. die. I hope so. Yeah. She's a biochemist. You know, never know. Something you just explode never know what could go lab. wrong. Yep. Yeah. She could get pushed off a mountain. Yeah. Uh, see if she likes hikes. Can you hikes. do that, young Mark? <laughs> <laughs> nice. There's no cameras up there. I'll tell you that. That's nice. <laughs> So then you met so, the other guy after. Oh my and that's god! Your baby dad. I was awful. I went to China to host the Shanghai Film Festival. I was single. I was doing business. I was with a hedge fund, so I was making good money. I I I learned business in school. I wanted to not be a starving artist. Yes. Yeah, I want to have enough money to pay for the best acting training, to go to the gym, to think, to actually be a human. Because I hustled so hard in college. I worked nine jobs, the Craigslist jobs, taking care of old ladies in bed who has autoimmune disease. I changed her diaper. It was brutal. And I drive around a blind lady. She, she realized I was Asian. Like, oh, I don't want an Asian woman driving me. I'm like, you are, I'm like bitch, you are blind. <laughs> you know, so like, you can't afford a real person. So that's all you got. <laughs> <laughs> so I just, the real, I just know I have did all that. I, I had to clean the bathroom because I, I, you know, I work in the restaurants. I have to do all the shitty jobs. So I decided to not be poor. Yeah, so smart. So it was good. I learned acting. I was auditioning. And I, I, I mean, John Singleton got me in comedy, actually. He did? He did. He literally, he just, uh, he, I auditioned for him for um, Rebel. It's a TV show about uh, uh, this girl, a black girl. She's a cop. And her sidekick, sidekick is an Asian girl who knows Kung Fu. Mm -hmm. It's in like a, so like Oakland, the the move, the TV show is it's like it's rush hour with a low budget. Yeah, you know, black woman, Chinese woman. But you know, I thought I did good. I got a call back and a second call back, and then he saw me. He just uh, he said do some improv. I start saying things. He start laughing. I think I was dropping jokes. I just I just do that. And then he's like, you should do stand up comedy. He walked over me. He was playing Ali Wong's little clip. He's like, you should do stand up comedy. You're gonna be a star. I just heard that. I was so shocked. I knew who he was. I watched Boys in the Hood. Yeah. I said, oh my God, thank you so much. Do I have the job now? He said, hell no, bitch. I don't understand the word you said. Get out. <laughs> <laughs> but he got my number. He actually said, hey, go to an open mic. So he actually followed up with me. Wow. We had a general friendship. He was very honest. Like, you are not going to get the roles you want in movies, TV shows. Most people don't take a risk on somebody with a heavy accent who's not already a star. Yeah. But you are funny. If you actually going to invest time in your talent to develop it I, I can see you becoming good in stand-up and you can do any movie you want when mm -hmm. you have a name amazing and he actually followed up we became a we became real friends wow, wow. yeah that's awesome it was it was he literally just like i didn't know anything about stand-up because we don't have it in china right. oh, of course yeah they are, they are allowed to do that you know what you have in china right now <laughs> this Automated for men who are too embarrassed to masturbate in hospitals. I love how serious his face is. Yeah. Yeah. Like he and is I was like, man, that is fucking such a cool thing that the state. That's nice. But you're not embarrassed to stand in a hallway with 10 dick dick machines. You just stare at the wall. It's okay. I mean, yeah. It's like going to pee, I think. Yeah. Sit there. Oh, that's for China the guy with the tinier dog. That's nice. That's super nice. Oh my God. Temperature, wetness. Amount of light, they can Who speed it up. That thing, yeah. Oh, nice! And then you can just leave your deposit there. That's fucking. That's nice. That's yeah, so cool. That is friendly. That's I love China. That. 
That's amazing. I'm very proud. Yeah. yeah. Your people invented that. That's amazing. The other thing, though, the opposite of what I was going to tell you was like my algorithm on Instagram is wild, right? Because of the posts that I engage with. One thing that happens a lot is you see accidents, like car accidents and like people falling down <laughs> this in is China. This is favorite. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're, this but is the gone. thing you notice a lot, because I've seen so many of these clips in China, fucking guys like uh, walking down the street, a car fucking clips him and he falls down and just like laying there. You're like, is this guy dead? And other people look and they keep walking. And I'm like, holy shit. That seems very culturally specific where they're just like, I don't know if he's dead. Walk in, right by. In China, there's a saying called fubuchi. It's mm. like uh, you cannot afford to lift somebody up because uh, they would uh, ask you to pay for all their medical oh, expenses yeah. and funeral expenses because in China, we don't have traffic rules. It's about human connection you sense uh, red light is a suggestion is uh, the traffic light is a suggestion like yes. okay that's cute but i'm still gonna go through it yeah. and uh, uh, the thing is that if you are jaywalking a truck hit you it's always the bigger vehicle's fault is there's no okay. fault the bigger vehicle is a fault, is that fault? no when matter some, what no matter what when somebody fall down the person who's right next to that person is the uh at fault is the criminal because Shit. why are you still there because you did it. Oh. So that's the idea behind not. Yeah. yeah. You can't engage because you are going to get fucked. Right. Because then it's your fault, kind of. Yeah. Because if Damn. they run the red light, it's not their fault. The car <laughs> ran away. Right. And also sometimes like if the victim is family, they would block the traffic and uh, ask tips from all the traffic going through there because they're uh, their son died there. They'll be like, my son died there. And the one of those big trucks did it. And you guys can't go through this road unless pay me tips. So they, uh, instead of insurance, they collect like 10,000 yuan to pay for the funeral. Wow. If you don't tip them, you can't go through. They just wow. block the road. God, you guys are hard fucking core. Can I, <laughs> can I have been practicing this Mandarin phrase? Can I try Oh my God, it? yes. It's not going to be good. Like, t- be easy on me. Okay. It's from my act right now, so we have to cut it from oh, this. Oh, you, you better, yeah. Yeah. I'm That's just very excited cool. to let okay. the audience know that you will be hearing some new perfect Mandarin That's at any perfect. of my live yes. shows coming up. Yes. I, I can be say um, Pigu. That's amazing. Mm-hmm. Ass. Mm-hmm. Also, Tom, that the, your Mandarin uh, that phrase will become every Chinese mom's ringtone. Oh, that's a- <laughs> it'll be so popular. It'll be the biggest ringtone in Asia. That's awesome! I can't yeah. wait. I can't wait. I'm very excited. <laughs> um, okay, we have some um, special clips. Just special for you. clips. Ooh. Okay, <laughs> these are. Let's see. This is something that we have only seen in the Asian world. Qigong. What, what does that mean? Qigong Qi. is like a, uh, you use uh, like a, it's like a, a type of tai chi. Like a, you don't feel the pain from the outside That's world. A brick. Yeah. He's, he's smashing his balls with a brick. <laughs> yes. Yes. Look at Qi, this one. Qigong is like a like a steel balls. Um, like that's one practice. They have balls so, of steel. So this is like you're overcoming the suffering and, and, and you don't even feel your balls getting kicked. That's yes. how you've mastered pain in yeah, your you, mind. Like you chop the is this arousing to most Asian women? Yeah, do you guys like this? Uh, um, no, I, we just think like they, they can't get bitches, so they do that to get attention. <laughs> yeah. yeah, look at all, all of those people who with, the, with the steel balls are ugly. Look, yeah. have you seen Brad Pitt doing that? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> so true. Yeah, if they were using their nuts, they wouldn't want them kicked. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Can, do you have premarital sex in China or is that? Uh, it's more and more common now. It depends on like uh, how much apart, apartment you have, how many Rolex you have. Mm-hmm. So you are not wasting your pussy on nothing because you, right. you, you can't. That's a pretty deposit of uh, the investment that you are going to have. Do Chinese mothers teach their daughters this? Because we were talking about this before you got here, how the woman has to delay the sexual gratification mm-hmm. to get a man even remotely really interested in you and to commit. Do uh, they teach th- you that stuff? I think in Japan, they are more sexually uh, educated in a way that sexual education is very important in Japan. But in China, when I was growing up, I was a virgin until I was 20 years old. I was in America because... I was doing homework with a boy after school. My mom heard that. She came to the classroom and she beat me up in front of him. She wow. punched me. Slumped. She's like, I can't believe I raised the horror. Wow. And then I, I never had a boyfriend. Mm. And you are not allowed to have a boyfriend until you get in university. 
then like you know, I I can't talk to boys before I was twenty. I'm a whore. But after I'm twenty, like do you have a boyfriend? No. Like why do you look like this? Wear something like a whore. You just be like a whore. You know, you have to just go from not a whore and transfer into a whore. Like to get a husband. To get a husband because、yeah. like you know, be a whore. So you were dressing too, like conservatively. Yeah. Then she's like, "Why would you wear this? You look like a monk." You know. I'm like, "You, I don't know how to look like a woman because I can't." You're also like, "I don't know how to please you, mom."、Yes. I was dressing like this, and、yes. now I got dressed like this. Yes.、Yeah, so、uh, in Asia, just, they just、uh, want you to be a virgin. Then one day they want you to trap a husband. Yeah. They just switch like this.、Mm-hmm. Is your mom proud of your success now? Like, is she? She can't say it.、Mm-hmm. Yeah. She just like, a, you know, you are not all bad. Yeah. And then we were walking by Vegas and see my face on the Kimmel Club marquee. She goes, "You know what? You actually do look better in photos." <laughs> She's like, well, "Don't, don't, don't get cocky after I say that." Yeah, yeah, She's yeah. Like, I'll take it back. I take it back.、Yeah. Are you smiling?、Uh, I don't want you to do, get too cocky. Yeah,、yes. don't get too much self esteem、yeah. now. Fuck, dude.、Hilarious. So you never went to like you didn't like French a guy and then go to first base, second base, third base. Like it's all or nothing. Yes, you just、Fuck. need to、uh, when the moment to, like because in China we have the rule、uh, as Leonardo like after you're twenty five you expire. Dunsk. Yeah, you are like、uh, you. Yeah, it's an old kind of fish. Get going.、Basically. Yeah, you need to trap the right guy when you are twenty five. Damn. And there's a breakup fee in China. Breakup fee. Did、like、you hear this? Had to pay a breakup fee to break up with a guy who's a girl who's on her prime. Yeah, really? I think you should. Yeah, it's a calculation. How tall you are, how skinny you are, if.、Uh, You、so know, if you're dating, like if you're if, if you're dating, so I'm just dating you after for, three years. I two or three go, years. You don't wanna... you don't marry her. Yeah. No, you have to pay a bribe because her because she wastes her pussy on you. Like yeah, she wastes three years of her investment、yes. on you. You should be pay a breakup. How、fee. much do I pay? Depends on how pretty she is, how tall she is. So if she's gorgeous, she wait, did she go to Harvard or Tsinghua University? Her education is she's gorgeous, so you pay more. If she's like a how much are we talking though? Oh, if you are you are you have your net worth like the Chinese rich guys, they have to pay a very handsome fee. I would say like a, a, a like a one million yuan for three years, like two hundred thousand dollars, because and it's agreed up. Like, is it legal or is it just like a, it's just a, a show a that social man, agreement? Like, it just shows that man is like a great man. Oh, like people don't see your credit in China. If you are a rich guy, you dump the girl without marrying her. They would question your character, but if you pay a nice fee, they're like, "Oh, I'm going to invest in his company because he's a nice man who don't, you know, pump and dump, pump、yeah. and dump." Yeah, well, that's true. I was just talking about this with、that's、him、wild. yesterday. That it's all it's it is unethical for like a sixty year old guy to be dating a twenty three year old girl, and、um, you know, unless there's an explicit agreement of the girl going, "Yeah, I never want kids. I don't want a life." Ba 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 ba. Because you're so young and naive, and this、mm-hmm. guy's just. Pumping clips, dumping his clips into this young girl, and she wakes up and one day she's thirty, and now her prospects have completely changed, right? Because、yeah. the first string draft of guys who want to get married, they're doing that in their twenties and、yeah. their early thirties, and now, now you're a woman TikTok. You know, you don't have eggs forever. Yeah, that's yeah. smart. God, Chinese are so yeah. pragmatic. Yeah, they they just、uh, they really just、uh, get the breakup fee, so you can use、Good. the money to、um, go you get know, your face fucking yeah, done. Yeah, rejuvenate your, your vagina、yeah. and lift up your tits and、yeah. pull face up. Because they got、yeah. that prime puss and they took it away from everybody. Took it away. Yeah. yeah. God damn, I'm gonna go to China. Well, here's、My、a guy who、life. might not pay any fees. I don't know. You tell me. You go to Facebook. Is your fucking is crazy? Facebook. No, I'm sorry. You see, you lie. I'm like. You're fucking gay. I'm a gay.、So. Excuse me. <laughs> Hold on. Here. I'm talking to him. I'm not talking to you. This is very rude. rude. This is my not friend.、Rude. This is my friend. You're being very rude. No, no, no.、So、She's not your friend. I'm your friend. No, you're not. I want I you to fuck me tonight. I don't know who you are, and I'm not interested. <laughs> I want you to fuck me tonight. Oh my God! It's pretty cool. No, 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 no. That is amazing. He's a LBGT. I'm an LBGT. I'm not. Yes, you are. You are gay. Please leave. I'm not opposed to gay, but、fuck、it's very good. I want you to fuck me tonight. No, please don't touch me again either. Please don't touch me. Sing boy, it's not like America. We can touch you. Hey, hey, touch me. me. Go, I'm a gay. Get、kid. out of here now. Oh my God! <laughs> and then the other people are coming around to see. Oh my God! His confidence is very amazing. Very confidence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like it. No, he's a gay. I'm a gay. I want him to fuck me tonight. Wonderful, wonderful. Yeah, this is sexual harassment. No, no, he's a gay. I'm a gay. No, no, he makes it not to me. I did not. That woman's pretty strong. Yeah, yeah, she'll fucking. I'm calm. I'm calm. 
Do you, what oh do the gays God. do in China? Are you allowed to be gay? You don't talk about it. People now talk about it, but not really talking about it. It's just like a really mysterious group of people. <laughs> that uh, a lot, a lot. Of the, the the bad thing about it is a lot of Chinese men who are gay. They do not want to bring shame to their family sure. because if you are gay, they are not gonna choose you to take over the family business. Right. Mm. So, so you really in, gotta. Bury you are that. not gay, and yeah. people are not very educated about. Uh, uh, gayness like a lot of women don't know there's gay people so they married to a gay man oh no and they had no idea their husband's gay and they brag about oh he never proves any woman my husband never cheated on me you know <laughs> they brag about it and then uh, they ideal, had no idea actually. and the, the gay guys would uh, <laughs> like a you know just like a gaslight them yeah so that's crazy um <laughs> Might be ideal to be married to a gay man, though. Yeah, Probably. you just like you don't have to have sex. Twice. Yeah. yeah, you don't have. Yeah, you, you need to get a, uh, children. Get but you don't have baby. Have, but yeah. then you could take him to that machine in China. Yeah. and get his jizz that way, and then mm -hmm. you just marry your best friend. Yeah, yeah. You just put like some naked guys on the screen in front of yeah, him. Yeah, be dope. Yeah, drops his load. I might do that. In my yeah, next life. you should do that. Um, okay, well, are you ready to see this show? For what it is, is most famous for clips, right? Playing clips. Mm -hmm. The all-time greatest clip Tom's of this show. so hard right now. I'm so excited. Just to show so you excited this. to show this. I'm so excited. <laughs> Best <laughs> clip ever. Look at this guy. On, Joe, He's like, like is my is my car all right? Look at this shit. This is my favorite. He he looks at the car. He's like, ah, uh, is the car good? Fuck. Car's He's like <laughs> I got a dent in the car now. Doesn't even <laughs> But now because of what Joe Ying told us. Wait, wait, but look. He's still like, ah, uh, right there where his head was. <laughs> Got another dent scratch. here, another dent here. Shit, I gotta take care like of this him. later. This asshole has anyway, the nerve to get hit. Fuck. He's still screaming. He's still, too. like, I know. He's like, ah. You know, you know, you know what? They said a Mercedes China. Is that a, a Mercedes Mercedes shop or is a counterfeit Mercedes shop? Oh, well, it's. <laughs> <laughs> this is like. A, do you know where this is? Can you tell? Because we know where, we know where it ha where it happened. It's definitely in China. <laughs> is that in North in Beijing? It's in Taiwan. Taiwan. Oh, yeah. that makes in sense. Taiwan. Now. Those yeah. lazy islanders. Yeah. 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 yeah they did he looked like a, this person looked like a Spider Man. Ah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Could you hear what yeah. he was saying? He just like, it sounds like to our stupid ears that he's saying bakula. Bakula. Um, ah. Bakula. In case, it's like you ask them to stop. Like a stop. Because somebody he's told like, someone, but said, it's like it was a dialogue of Taiwanese dialogue. Yeah, that, that, that they said when, yeah. when it was reported, they said that it, whatever he's saying meant stuck. Oh yeah, I'm like, stuck. Yeah, I'm, I'm stuck. stuck. And that's the same as the Japanese women say in their porns. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm a day. I'm a day. That's the same thing. <laughs> yeah, but this guy, this guy is my favorite. So you, get, you get the scream, you get the guy being I'm stuck, and then you get this guy just checking out the car. Yeah, he's like, there's yeah. a dent. He's like, fuck. Fucking your goal. Yeah. Just go, heavy, dude. Because, well, because, right? Because if he assumes responsibility, if he's yeah. like, "Are you okay?" Yeah. Then he's gonna get taken yeah. for the tips, the tip money. Yeah. Fuck that, dude. Yeah. That's his fault. Yes. He's, exactly. he's not assuming any. The car is not my car. You stood in front of the to, car, man. Yeah. yeah. Why would you try to put it in on my car? <laughs> Dude, it's so like you realize we've been analyzing this clip yeah. for been, years, for yeah. a decade, and it took a Chinese person to really put it all together yeah. for yeah. us. Yeah. Now, like this makes sense. He can't assume liability. No, no, because that person is gonna have a ma migraine for years, and he has to be paying for medication. Right. Oh. This guy is gonna look at this clip later and be like, "See, I didn't even come up to you. I, I yeah. checked out what yeah. you did to my car." Yeah. Look at his face. His face is like a. You are invading my car. Yeah. yeah. You're trying to attack China now? Like, Stupid. what do you want? Yeah. yeah. You fucking stood here. Idiot. Yeah. And all I did was pull in, and then you were in the way, and yeah. then your body hurt my car. Yeah. Hey, you your shattered legs 
<laughs> left yeah. a dent in my car. <laughs> yeah. yeah. If anything, I'm the one with the injuries. Yeah. You need yeah, to my, pay me for my car. And my emotional damage. And yeah. my wife abusing me when I got home. <laughs> yeah, she's going to be super pissed. So I lost there. four below jobs because yeah. of this dent. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Do you want to show her what you're best known for? <laughs> oh, my TikToks. Now, Joe Ying's also, she's very popular on TikTok, which is how you really... Yeah, but she probably doesn't popped. see the same TikToks you that don't. you see. <laughs> so I curate uh, the darker side of TikTok. That. Yeah, yeah. So anything... I worked with a former on. crime scene cleaner, and oh, he told guy. me about one where he spent over an hour picking birdshot, skull, and brain matter out of a ceiling after a suicide. At that point, I'd honestly rather replace the ceiling. The thing with shotgun suicides is that he got to hunt and track down every single pellet that passed through because now it has biological matter on it. You don't want that. It's super tedious, but it's kind of what needs to happen. So with jobs like that, ceiling replacement is usually the way to go. I thought you'd find that interesting. So this guy specializes in crime scene cleanup, mm -hmm. and he's so sweet. He even cleans out hoarders homes for yeah. free because they're, oh. they're so expensive. It's like $3,000 just to have one room cleaned, so he mm -hmm. does it for free. Anyway, Tom, if you blow your brains out or you blow someone's brains out, the there brain matter gets stuck in the holes in the ceiling. So he says you may as well just replace the whole ceiling, the ceiling. as opposed to pulling up every bird. You can't shot. do it. Yeah, yeah. Isn't that sure. amazing? Yeah, dude? It's crazy. Do you think he make a lot of money uh, from bribery? Oh, that's if interesting. If I kill one, per if I kill if somebody died, I also have somebody else die there. But I, I pay him so much money that he clean everything out that he make he got the money and I got to murder somebody. Dude, that's the business mind that I, I'm talking about. I'm just yeah. thinking that guy is rich. I can feel it. Yeah, you're, this yeah. is why you're gonna just keep growing, dude. Yeah, you're this so is, smart. Right? Actually, so business. I did read about crime scene cleanup when I was in when I graduated from college, it's a very lucrative business mm -hmm. because it's highly specialized. He has to have biohazard suits and special equipment. So yes, when someone gets murdered in your home or someone dies, you have to call a you special do. cleanup yeah. person and it costs a fortune. So try not to blow any, try not to blow your brains out in your home. Uh, do it somewhere public. Maybe, I don't know who cleans it up then. Well, uh, then it's just a matter of like the city or somebody coming up to clean it up. But when you're in a home, it's true. You it's, can't you do it. You pay for it. Yeah. yeah. But if you hate your husband, you want him to pay for that. If, Fuck, if you have to die, or if you hit your wife, if I I'm kidding myself, I want my husband to. That's a good point. Lower the real estate value. That's a good point. Yeah, yeah. yeah you then you take it out in like the living room. Yeah. So now he's really got to clean I, that I shit. I hope up. nothing happens to you. You know. <laughs> Let's see. Uh... Oh, oh, this guy. This guy's doing pull-ups on a uh, a street lab. That is. I think this is Brazil. Very, I forget where it is. Doesn't sound Portuguese. Does what it? is it? Looks tropical. Though. Really? Oh wow. Oi, to go, to go. No, what is that? No. No. Is that your tribe? It's not it my tribe. It looks like a haunted Japanese movie. A little Japanese schoolgirl <laughs> is doing that. <laughs> That's how I feel. Whoever this is, it's strong go, as fuck for yeah. sure. That is. <laughs> <laughs> Can I, what is this in Japanese porn? Like you just said it before, where there has to be like, oh no, I don't like it. I don't yeah. like it. What is this? Because men love that when women hate, like, afraid of sex. Is they like fantasy? You know, they want to see like a little oh. little girl just go there. Like you always see the super ugly, super ugly guy in porn, and the girls are like so pretty. So, so oh. they just like the guys like. Ah. And the girl's and, like, I'm a thing, I'm a thing, I'm so scared. Yeah, oh, and, I like it, no, I don't. And that like must it, be so prevalent as a as a male fantasy in Japan. Mm -hmm. It's so prevalent because that's yeah. the dominant. Yeah. And in China, same. Hey, look at that. We don't, that porn crazy? is not. What's this? I don't know. It's just something that was in the file. Here. I, yeah. That's, that's like, that's, look like, uh, look like a Chinese machine. <laughs> <laughs> the Chinese sex machine. Well, this is definitely from Japan because they always blur out the genitals. Yes, yes. Because that's, that's oh, the Oh, and she's also suffering, like you said. She's like, yeah, oh. Yeah, you have to suffer. Yeah. And the men don't come unless they hear the women suffer. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it hurts so much. Oh, my God. It's like I'm talking to my mom. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> is, it, is it because she's like, oh, your dick's so big. You're yeah. so, you're so mean. You are hurting me. And I'm yeah. so petite. Oh, I'm, so yeah, I'm so small. You are, you are hurting me. Yeah. 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 yeah I would pop too. Is yeah. that right? I yeah. can do this for you. How, what yeah. do I say sure. again? Yamate! Yamate! It's, the, it's painful. It's so painful. Yeah. Arigato! Itai! Itai is painful. Yamate is stop. Gozaimasu! Yamate! 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 Hi! 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 I'm a dirty faggot. Oh. I'm a shit pig. Yeah. I'm a toilet. I only deserve rape, humiliation, dehumanization, 
Degradation. That's a different lane. I didn't put that in there. No, I know. His, his nose hair is <laughs> out. He's vile. And, yeah. the, and the fake veneers. You know, what's interesting, though. The English love BDSM. So it's the opposite. The man likes to be degraded and uh-huh. spanked. Their culture uh-huh. is punishing. Uh-huh. Spank me, you know, all that. And that's interesting. Isn't the Japanese like it that they feel like Chinese guys, too? They like yeah, that? Yeah, I think Asian men enjoying just like... Uh, Women. Fantasy, yeah. women suffering. They yeah. love yeah. to see women suffering. Huh? I guess I'm it a just, little it turns them too. On. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it turns them on. It turns them on. Some people like uh, to suffer, to get abused by women. Some gotta, people like, but like not the majority. I gotta log into my 23andMe again see if I have some <laughs> Asian blood. So I love these patch tattoos. This is why they're Holy crazy shit. with how textured they are in the drop this is shadow by on a Spanish and everything. tattoo artist. Uh, but Chris Lowe, based out of Zaragoza, Spain, is one of the best to do it. Look at that. So it's Absolutely a new wild. type of tattoo. Go it check looks out like their Instagram, patchwork. TikTok, tag below. It doesn't look it. like pa- It is patchwork, right? No, it looks like it. So he was just sewing it to, to, sh- to show, show you that how like realistic. Yeah. Really? Mm-hmm. It's not really patchwork. Isn't that wild? That's insane, yeah. Like the, the, the artist was just doing that as a goof to oh, show really? you. Oh, really? Oh, like, so that's, that's incredible. The arrow of his boss showing him to get out from the office. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bye. The fuck out of here. Dude, that's yeah. wild. Yeah, isn't that cool? Never seen anything like that. That's cool. That, Very yeah. cool. Yeah. Do you, yeah. have you have tattoos? tattoos? I have tattoos. Uh, I have this one. It's a oh. Chinese woman uh, emperor from Tang Dynasty. That's her name. Ooh. She's the only woman who ruled China. She was not a queen. This is so She who ruled you are. China. Yeah. It was Tang Dynasty. She she ruled China. I see. I see. And what's she had going a twenty um, male horse, concubines. What's a, would you write this down for me? I'm going to have the same one done. Ru Yue Kong. So she was. You had to I love as her. emperor. Ru Yue Kong. Yeah, as an emperor, you had to choose uh, a character to describe uh, your like uh, your dynasty. So she was going through the dictionary in China. She's like, there's nothing that's pow- powerful enough for me. I'm Ooh. gonna invent my own word. So she goes, uh, the moon, the moon, the sun, and the moon and the sky, and my power is above all of it. So that means Zhao, like internal shine. And then she made it legal for women to read and to go to school. It wasn't legal for women Ill- to read. She made it legal. legal. Sorry, I thought you said she made it illegal. Yeah, she so made it she's legal. the smartest bitch in the yeah. land. And her prime minister was a woman. And uh, wow. she, that's China was his best. It's Tang Dynasty. Tang. Tang Dynasty, yeah. yeah. And, and this she was, was one of the brightest. What years were the I would say like uh, uh, 2000 years ago. 2000 years yeah. ago, wow. Yeah, she was, yeah, she's very famous. Her, She's Emperor, Emperor Wu. She's an emperor. Yeah. Wow. Not like a queen. And this An is emperor. your inspiration. She, yeah, because, uh, you know, she she was 14 and her father died with a general and she was uh, very smart. She was educated because her father was a general. So she went to the palace and started tutoring the uh, prince. And then she wanted to become the king. <sighs> so she started seducing the old king and he made her his uh, concubine. But uh, when he died, if you are not the queen and the top five or six women, you have to bury with him because mm, the king right. has to erase all the women he fucked. So the woman is not going to have sex with other people. But she's ahead of her time. She was fucking the little prince. And then he saw that she was very brilliant. So he's like, I'll spare her from dying, but she can go to become a nun, you know, because she should not have sex with anybody else. Okay. She should become a nun. So when the young prince... Uh, if his wife go to pray in the temple, she saw him and she was able to fuck him in the temple. And then he ended up taking her back to the palace. And all of the people, like, they are resigning. Like, you are not going to fuck, like, the old king's woman. Like, you are not going to marry her. And he made him to be able to kill all the people who was against him. And uh, he married her and she ke- became uh, the queen. Yeah. And then he had some headache. He has this migraine, can't stop. So she started to do basically to rule rule the world, rule China for, and she's brilliant at it. She's just so good. So she is people that write hate like like hate lectures, poetry about her. She read it and she likes the writing. She will hire them to Whoa, work for her. Smart. She's like, I love how you write about me, how much you hate me, but your writing is great. So I'm mm-hmm. gonna hire you. So she, the the king ended up dying. She became the emperor. Keep your enemies closer. Yes. She kept them close. Yeah, I think I think it's good. You know, yeah. I will survive my mom yeah. after all. Oh yeah. That's yeah. <laughs> how so you get yeah. inspiration. I have a lot of tattoos. That's rad. Dude. I mean, like here one and in the back. It's all Chinese characters. I wrote this. I'm a calligrapher, so I wrote this. It's beautiful. And wow. then the Mexican girl, she she draw this only. Yeah. She did so good. 
You did great. Yeah. I love, I love Mexican people. They are amazing. They're the best. Yeah. They run my comedy club because I can't be at my comedy club. Yeah. Whenever I'm there, people won't get their nails done. They don't believe that's a comedy <laughs> club. They're like, I my nails done. I'm like, I'm not Vietnamese. They're like, the same thing. <laughs> 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 Oh, shit. The biggest green flag for a girl by far is if she goes to Pilates. Every single Pilates girl I've ever met is wifey material. I don't know what it is about Pilates, but it's one of the most wholesome things a girl can do. If a girl does Pilates, she's probably not going out much on the weekends because she has to get up early to go to Pilates. And it's not like a regular weightlifting gym where guys will stare at girls and be creepy and hit on them. Girls can just go with their friends, have girl time, and get a good workout. Like, I live in downtown Tampa, and there's a place called Body Rock down the street from me. And every single woman I see leaving that place is as happy as can be. They're smiling. They're talking to their friends. They're having a great time. There's no time to be toxic if you go to Pilates. I always say that we have to bring back stay-at-home Pilates wives, and this is exactly why. If you meet a woman and she said she does Pilates regularly, green flag, go for it. No hesitation. <laughs> what do you think, Tom? I mean, I've never heard anything like this before. It's a whole new but, but um, I mean, I'm not saying that it's a bad one. Yeah. I, I mean... Think I think I just threw up in my throat oh, a little bit. Jesus but Christ. I think they, they just go there eat their pussies, so they are happy afterwards. Yeah. You know? They oh, are they're just lesbians. Yeah. 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 There, there right. are some lesbo yeah. vibes there for sure. Yeah. yeah. And Pilates? Oh, yeah. yeah. yeah open tight. your legs and tight. Yeah. yeah. Plus, it's like you always, they always want to look hot for the other chicks, you know? Yeah. Like, I do core power yoga in a oh, group. Oh, that is the best. Mm -hmm. But they're all like, all the girls come dressed hot, but I, yeah. there's only other bitches in there. And there's always one straggler guy. Yeah. But I'm like, who are you dressing hot for, bitch? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Other chicks. Maybe Other they're chicks. gays. Maybe they're yeah, gays. Yeah, I think so. And that's why they're happy. They're finally with all their kind. And yeah. Being they're gay and working out. And and scissoring each other. Yeah, scissoring. Around each other's stinky boxes. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's, they're happy. And they also, he's from Tampa. We can't trust him. He's yeah. dog. Oh, Tampa's garbage. <laughs> yeah. yeah. She goes, there's something in there. It's not a moth. Wonderful. She adds that it's curled up back there. So now I'm waiting for the nurses to come back and flush my ear out. I am so embarrassed, first of all, because that's so gross and I'm a clean person, but I'm also like, it's an uneasy feeling. There's a bug in my ear. We're all dead. <laughs> it was a spider. It was alive. <laughs> I threw up. I'm never sleeping again. I think the spider threw up first. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god oh she's traumatized tra tra could you imagine is this a common occurrence i don't like this well you do consume insects your throughout your life but I'm usually sure. when you're asleep they crawl in your mouth you know they do and they crawl up your nose and that, that happens but having one retrieved alive from I your fucking, fucking ear dude put me under can't they give you a can't they just put you out? Yeah. I'd be like, just put me out, dude. Full anesthesia. Just fucking. fucking give I don't me a catheter. I'll yeah. see you in a week. Yeah. yeah. I don't want this. Yeah. A spider got in her ear. Gross. Because probably because the ear is big. Yeah. <laughs> big, stupid ears. Yeah. She should have had big. her mom tell her that. Exactly. She didn't have these big, dumbo Close your fucking ear up, ears, dummy. you elephant. <laughs> Big As a crime up. scene cleaner, some of the most challenging cleanups guy. I ever had to do were the ones involving hot tubs. Unless the body was found right away, <sighs> these jobs would be absolutely brutal because they would often be left rotting in 100 degree water for several days. Oh. From this experience though, I learned how to clean hot tubs really well. All you pretty much got to do is drain the water and pick up a hot tub cleaner kind of like this one to clean off any mineral deposits that build up. Also, don't forget to clean the filter because that's super important. All you got to do is twist it off, take it out, and then spray it with some chemical and Dude. just hose it down. And then you just, after the that, you're just going to want to wipe down the rest of the surfaces with your cleaner and then just fill it up with water and you should be good to go unless no. somebody dies in it because then you're just going to want to throw that thing away because yeah. that's just kind of gross just throw it away right if well, someone yeah, dies in your hot tub about. that's really complicated I, only a gay man can clean that <laughs> <laughs> there's things in places you don't know they exist oh, there's yeah. so much cum in those hot tubs so much there cum. are so there's lots yeah. of jizz that's what hot tubs are for right just gay guys to come in yeah that's how they, they sell them it's a gay broth if you go mm -hmm. to like a hot tub store it's like <laughs> Come swim in the jizz with us. Yeah. How many dudes can fit in here? Yeah. Can That's what they say. Six guys in here. Yeah. This, this is a three hot tub. This is six six gay guys. Oh, Jesus. Um, all right. We got to wrap up. Yeah. Um, Jai Ying Summers, thank you so thank much for coming. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Uh, Total you're world absolutely domination. fantastic. You're hilarious. Uh, you're a fucking absolute animal i think you're gonna yes. dominate and rule the world and we'll all be living in the Zhao ying dynasty um <laughs> check out the tiger milf podcast and of course you can see her at new york comedy club on january 21st thank you for coming congratulations on everything thank you so Bye. much christina thank you tom i appreciate you guys you. thank Bye. you
in girl world, you can't call it a dick suck unless there's jizz in your mouth. Unless there's jizz in your mouth. there's jizz in your mouth. Sometimes I want to cover your eyes and it doesn't have to always go in your mouth. It doesn't have to always go in your mouth. It doesn't have to always go in your mouth. Kind of sophisticated, you know. <laughs> doesn't have to always go in your. Doesn't have to always go in your. Doesn't have to always go in your. I've never I come so much. So, 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 so. Oh fuck me! I feel so good, good. Man, that is ass. Oh my fucking god, god, god. It's so fucking yummy. I wouldn't mind tasting it. Sometimes when your dick gets hard, you make noise. <laughs> wow. My cum is 100% kosher. 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 My cum is kosher. My cum is kosher. My cum is kosher. I'm thinking that I would fuck this person. I don't want vagina. I want a penis. 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 What? 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 So how was your pee? We're back and you can pee. I peed. I pushed hard. My pee smelled a lot like coffee, so I'm gonna have to hydrate. What? What? You're supposed to push as hard as you can. Been massage your little hole and okay, you come, you come. Let me see, let me see how much you come. Let me let me see all that come. 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 Oh, Give it to me, Mark. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I can feel it. Mm. Oh, that's gonna be good. Oh, that's gonna be good. Oh. oh. You like this? This is what gets you right now? This is fucking awesome! <laughs> Look at his fucking tits. <laughs> so this guy's fucking amazing! Hey man, I'm ready to jerk off. You want to jump in the chat real quick? <laughs> Watch your mom's house. Did you like it? Then watch another one. Watch our clips. I don't know. Check it out. Try it out. If you didn't like it, look for other stuff. Maybe in the next video, there's people getting hurt the way you like, or maybe gay dudes talking about dick stuff. I don't know. Try it out. Maybe dude, there's always something for everybody. Just look in these cubes, squares, whatever.